Hey guys, this is my review for episode 9 of Supernatural season 14. It's actually not bad. It actually had some pretty okay parts in this. This basically is the build up to fighting Michael and the brothers are trying to assemble two weapons. The egg thing that could take on angels and whatnot that they got in season 12. And then also the spear. However, I don't know why they didn't just ask the girl the one who knows how to fight with a spear to come along. When you see Dean trying to fight with it later on, he's just like flailing it around and whatnot. It's like, you know, you had a person who knew how to fight with a spear, but I guess she just didn't want to be a part of it. She just wants to leave. And then all the while, we see that Garth has come back. Hey, Garth. He is their inner cell, their kind of their mole inside Michael's thing. Um, turn just the whole monster army. Michael kind of reveals through different people just how things went down with his attacks back in the other world and then he kind of talks about what he's going to be doing in this world with basically having a massive monster uh, attack. I'll admit this episode actually isn't written badly. There's no, well that was stupid, moments throughout this whole episode actually. I'm kind of surprised. Um, there is one part where the four of them are downstairs in this <laughs> in this garage, and there's a it's supposed to be a Die Hard reference with uh, the song that's playing in the background, but I don't know, just slow motion shots of them just walking towards the camera, and it just kind of seemed a little cheesy because there's nothing else happening. It's a build up between the four of them, Jack, Castiel, Sam, and Dean, going to take on Michael. And the woman who's playing Michael in this episode is actually pretty good. I think she was a, a good choice. Sam, when he first goes into the building, he's just chopping off uh, monsters' heads. It felt very Jason Voorhees-like because he got the drop on monsters several times. One of them, I kind of don't know how he did it, but I, admittedly, I thought that was cool. I like seeing Sam just as a killing machine. Everything seems to be kind of going in their favor, and then all of a sudden, Dean is Michael again. Now, I will admit, that's a bit of a stretch, Dab. That's a big stretch to say that he left the door open. I like the idea of that, but his explanation is like, I've truly broken him and everything. I was like, wait, what? How is Dean worse when you took him over than before? Because he was about to kill you when he took you over. So I don't know, I found that explanation of just like, oh, wait for him to be at his weakest. Yeah, he breaks the staff in half, but that's after he's taken him over. If the staff had been broken, then Dean was taken over by Michael, that would have made sense in terms of Michael's logic in this. I just thought the back door idea was okay. I, I didn't mind that, that whole, oh, he's gonna be at his weakest. No, he's not, That that's just bad writing. I actually liked how it ended, despite the fact that it's a complete rip off of Avengers Infinity War. Like, the snap, really? But however, it's a cool idea in terms of what's gonna happen if they actually take the scale with it as it is. Mind you, I'm kind of interested in how they're gonna put Jeffrey Dean Morgan in it. Yeah, apparently Jeffrey Dean Morgan's coming back. I bet you that might be the reason why they went down to 20 episodes. One of the other reasons why, because they had to pay this guy a fuck ton of money to come back. I think this is a decent mid-season finale. It's one of the better ones. It's not one of the all-time best. Like, season 11's mid-season finale is still a fantastic mid-season finale. Season 12 was garbage. Season 13 was meh. I actually don't remember honestly what happened with season 13's and season finale. I'm gonna give this episode a 5 out of 7. I think it was not bad. I think it actually had some cool build up, some cool character moments, some funny moments, and some pretty cool action. Uh, at one point, Castiel gets like whipped down this hallway, like completely like thrown down. I kind of wonder how the sun guy did that. Before I end the video guys, I'm just going to do this little shout out. Uh, a few months ago I did review a pretty funny, purposely horrible uh, horror movie called Camp Death 3 in 2D. And the film did, it's, it's pretty funny, it's terrible, but it's funny and it's purposely like that. And in fact it's actually coming out on Amazon Prime on February 15th. So I'm just doing a little shout outs here for the next few videos, just talking about it, letting you guys know if you guys are interested in something terrible watch Supernatural, so maybe you are a little bit potent for it, as am I. 
So, you know, if you want, check this film out. It's gonna be, it's pretty funny. I think it's a pretty funny watch. Anyways, I just wanted to do a shout out for those guys. Uh, they were really kind to ask me to watch the movie and kind of give my own perspective on it. So I'm gonna return the favor for them and just give them a shout out. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time.